Hey guys, Top All 24 back with another video. Today we're talking about AFK leveling that you can do on your phone and on your PC. So we're going to start off with sand crabs that are located south in Ho City. So you can also take the boat to Crab Claw Island. It's going to cost you a little bit of GP though to get over there. This allows you to get four crabs instead of where I currently am with three crabs. You can do ranged melee or magic. This is just a way that you can do AFK. It's not going to give you a crap ton of experience, but it is a way to get extra experience. Moving on to Fossil Island, where you can get some animal crabs, is where we're going to be going next. And here we are on Fossil Island with Animonite crabs. I would highly suggest you be able to get to this. You get a lot higher level sand crabs, technically, and you can continue to have three crabs around you, and it's a great way to AFK. The next AFK leveling method requires Monkey Madness 2, where you're going to kill Manacle Monkeys, pretty much just grouping them together and then using a splash damage weapon. You're going to need an Apatol teleport a Gree Gree as well as a headlamp or anything that can illuminate a dark room. When you teleport to Abatol, make sure you run up the west ladder then you want to make your way through the gates and then make your way to this little spot right here. This will take you to the manacle monkeys but first you're going to have to do an agility course to be able to get to them. One really important thing that you also want to have while you're working your way through the agility course is to have a dragon bone necklace and a bone crusher. The reason why you want to have both of these items is so that you don't have to utilize prayer potions because when you go down to the manacle monkeys, you're going to have to use protect from melee the entire time as well as if you can use rigor, you pretty much will be able to hit the highest hits. What a dragon bone necklace and a bone crusher combination do is that once you kill a monkey, you automatically bury the bones and then you get prayer replenished automatically so you don't have to use prayer potions. So it saves you some money and makes it even more AFK. Another big thing is you want to use splash damage weapons. Like for instance, as you can see, I'm using black chinchampas or red chinchampas or regular chinchampas. For magic, make sure you utilize a spell that attacks with a 3x3 three three area so that you can splash multiple monkeys at the same exact time so that you are utilizing the most amount of damage per second that you can. So as we make our way towards the manacle monkeys you're pretty much just going to have to work your way through this agility course in the same manner that I am doing. Once we get over this log beam we'll go through our final little pressure pad and then be able to look into the hole where we need to make sure that there are no other people there just so that we're not crashing into somebody else's party. So what we're going to do first is get through this pressure pad and then look in the hole to see if there's any other players in there. And so it looks like there's somebody else actually in there so we're just going to hop worlds really quickly and do the same exact thing in another world. So let's see which available. We'll check out this one. Switch worlds now. And check the hole once again. So now that it looks clear, we can jump in there and uh, use our melee, protect from melee, because we don't want to get smacked by the monkeys. And then we're pretty much going to be running east as far as we can and bring as many manacle monkeys along the way as we can just so that we can stack them up and really have the best dps so as we're making our way around make sure once again you have your headgear or an illumination item because if you don't have it you will start getting hit automatically by threes and you end up dying here you will lose all of your chinchampas we're also stacking them up and now we're equipping our chinchampas and then we're also going to turn on our rigor spell so that we can do the most dps once again now as you can see my prayer is going to be decreasing without my dragon bone necklace and my bone crusher so this is your bone crusher and your dragon bone necklace it's currently having a crap ton of charges for me so that's really awesome and your dragon bone necklace is really not too expensive it's usually no more than about 60k or so in order to replenish your dragon bone crusher you have to go to mortanya and do ecto functus and so it's a really easy way to level up your prayer at the same time and for the best method is the nightmare zone the most afk method which is located just north of yanil Realistically, I would watch a great video on this. I do suggest on your very first time, bring some prayer potions and some combat potions so that you can actually get some points and buy some absorption potions. 
pretty much what this does is it allows you to be really AFK and utilize the Trap Soul, Count Draenor, Sand Snake, King Rollad, the Kindle, and the Corridan Warlord are my favorite, and that's who you will be killing in the actual Nightmare. Once you get into your customizable Rumble Nightmare, pretty much what you're going to do is run to a corner, and if it's your first time, make sure your prayer is all the way up. And then you're going to be waiting for the monsters to pop up. You want to use your protect from melee once they come in. And pretty much you're just waiting for them to start hitting you. And you want to make sure that you have the max health that you can. As you can see, I have a crap ton of points, 19 melee points, which is really great. I can buy a crap ton of absorption potions. So we currently have one coming in. So pretty much just pray, use my rigor spell. I probably wouldn't be doing chinchampas, but this is just for um, showing you all how to do this. So if you do, though, have a lot of points, you can actually decrease your health all the way down to one and use absorption potions so that you can actually just sit there AFK and they can never hit you. They pretty much are just taking away your health from your absorption potions. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.